and welcome back to another episode of Passion Beer. Nick, here with Shane. Of course, and we're at Nick's brand new apartment. Nick, yeah. thank you for brand having me time. over. Hey, you're more than welcome. <laughs> but I'm bringing the beer this time. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, you picked up the beer down here. So we picked I, up the beer down I'm here, I'm glad yeah. you brought it all the way uh, from uh, Reading. I know. This but, uh, is the 50-50. Um, this is the Eclipse. This is the Four Roses uh, bourbon. Um, and it's bottle number 118, so this is uh, a fairly young bottle. <laughs> so there's, 2011 now. So there's about six or seven different styles of this Imperial yes. Stout, aged in different bourbon barrels. Right. There's a 12-year, 17 or 18-year yep. uh, whiskey barrels. We have barrels. the rye, the brandy, the, Grand the Four Crew. Roses, the Grand Cru. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, um, there's definitely a lot, and it's all from a 50-50 yeah. brewery out in California. Yep. Um, this is supposed to be a phenomenal selection. Uh, yes. My local... Uh, New beer place actually uh, <laughs> has about six out of the eight or yeah, so. Yeah, almost all the variety. Variety. Almost there, yeah. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot of variety here. So, But Four Roses, I was pretty excited about this one. Uh, bourbon, I love bourbon. Nick's a big bourbon fan too. So oh, absolutely. should be pretty good. All right, and we're through. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little bit. Man, yeah, that was thick wax that was on thick there. Wax. Oh, man. Ooh. Imperial stout looking, of definitely, course. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Just pour a little bit in there to sample. Now, obviously, these are the first time that the 5050 Eclipse varieties have been distributed anywhere to the East Coast. Um, so, Philly got them, and uh, we're pretty fortunate to be able to pick up a couple of these. Um, I mean, wow, that smells really good, but let me talk about the, the appearance first. I mean, it, it did come out like a dark brown sitting in the glass. Definitely, definitely black. A um, little bit of a uh, nice tan head. Yeah, a little, little bit of head. That smells uh, really nice. Looks like though. we're going to get a good amount of retention on that head. Um, the nice thing about this is it's an annual release. Right. Um, so, I mean, definitely the West Coast have been spoiled with this. and uh, we <laughs> It's are about just, time we get yeah, them over here. Yeah. Straight. But this is nice. I mean, it's got it's got a lot of these really rich bourbon notes, but it's a lot of this chocolatiness too, which it, is really it, nice. It definitely has those darker notes uh, on the smell. Um, the, the aromas are just phenomenal on this. I mean, there there is a little hint of a little bit of heavy alcohol. I think and, you can tell it's going to be a little boozy. It might be a little hot. Yeah, I'm not too sure which this is clocking in at. Um, nine and a half. Nine and a half yeah. percent. So. Uh, I mean, you're definitely going to pick up a little bit of booze here and there, but uh. But I mean, four roses, single barrel bourbon barrels. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, this is going to be good. Let's dive cheers. into it. Cheers. That's a really, really good beer. Wow. Um. So right off the bat, you, that's really you, impressive. You definitely get those chocolatey notes. Yeah. Uh, right up front, uh, with a little slight undertone of the bourbon, and then it actually finishes stronger with the chocolatey notes. I think. Um. Rather than the bourbon ever being all that overpowering, it's nice, subtle, right up front, and then a little bit on the middle. But on the back end, it's like chocolate just hits you. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm I think I'm pretty. I, I'm getting pretty much what you're describing. I think it's definitely a lot of this chocolate, dark malt stuff up front. Bourbon kind of comes in in the middle. Chocolate definitely comes in towards the end, and then I think. As it's sitting there, I get this nice bourbony, bourbony vanilla touch to it. Absolutely, uh, I think it's really nice. I mean, that's that's crazy as far as the layers go. I mean, it's really complex. It's, it's really a nice, very swatch yeah, of, complex, yeah, sophisticated a, beer. I mean, this is, is this is phenomenal how they were able to do that. Um, I mean, and just having this one, I think I, I'm really kind of excited now to kind of see what the other. Uh, the other varieties, you know, the Elijah Craig 18, 12, or 20, or whatever it was. 18 and 12, yeah. Um, yeah, those are those are going to be interesting, but this is... Definitely got know, a couple of bottles of that. Yeah, Four Roses is really good, man. No, absolutely, and uh, I'll have to make a trip over there and make sure we didn't miss any varieties that were available. Yeah, no, but, seriously. Uh, I mean, if this if that base beer has anything to to tell from the Four Roses, I mean, I think that's it's a pretty damn good beer. Without think, any of the barrel treatment, it's... Might be a really good beer. Absolutely, and I think we got a pretty good uh, price on this too. I mean, ballpark twenty five dollars. So definitely, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're able to find it for that much, definitely go seek them out. Uh, absolutely, no, this is really nice. So, very, very uh, nice. I mean, beer. even thirty bucks isn't isn't bad at all. No, yeah. So. I mean, for the Philadelphia area, I think we're going to see them probably between the twenty five to thirty dollar uh, range. But I mean, if you can get them on the on the cheaper end, absolutely, one hundred percent, go for it. Because I, I mean, this one at least for the Four Roses is absolutely worth it. In my oh, opinion. it's fantastic! Really good, beer. absolutely phenomenal. So uh, this was phenomenal, though. Um, Shane, I'll really great. 
Um, for me, I might be a little bit generous on this one. I don't know how generous I'll be over you, but um, I'm going to give this one a 94. Okay. Um, I, 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 I definitely like the complexity. I like the barrel treatment to it, and I like the base beer of the chocolatey notes to it. I think everything's balanced um, for me just because I really do like bourbon. Kind of wish a little bit more of the bourbon would have come out, but I mean, nonetheless, uh, I, I really think it's a well balanced, easy drinking, good beer. It's really good. I like it. A absolutely. I mean, you're a little bit over what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a 91. And I think a lot of that has to do with, uh, I mean, it's absolutely a phenomenal, complex beer, really good. Um, but uh, I was expecting a little bit more bourbon, and I think right, that's yeah, what knocked too. it down the right. couple more points uh, for me. But uh, overall, phenomenal beer. Definitely pick it up if you can. So uh, Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Passion Beer. I'm Nick with Shane. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.